All right, guys, so you are in the market for a new snowmobile and you need help on tips of what to look for when buying a new snowmobile. I got you. Let's go over three tips. First tip is wham. Second tip is wham. And third tip is wham. So let's go over the first one. The first one being purpose. We need to determine what you are gonna do with a snowmobile. Are you gonna be riding the mountains? Are you gonna be working on a ranch? Are you going to be trail riding in the eastern part of the United States? All these things you need to know before you buy one, in my opinion. So say you're gonna ride uh, mountains like we do in Colorado most of the time. Uh, we're gonna look for something with a track of at least 155. And I would recommend 155 to 165 uh, to begin and then an engine, unless you're a super small rider, I would say the engine needs to be around an 800 to an 850, which are the two most common options. So the, the purpose needs to be set in stone. Second, we need to go on to budget. Budget is super important. You need to determine if you're gonna go new, if you're gonna go used, if you're gonna go two years old, 10 years old. It doesn't matter how old you go, in my opinion, when you're beginning. Another thing to think about guys when it comes to budget is you don't have to have your dream sled the very first sled that you buy. When we started out, we were we were pretty young and we started out on 1987 Yamaha phasers that were just like around our cabin, they were really, really old. And we rode those for a while, got those stuck every time we went out. And then we rented sleds for like four years um, or five years. I think. So that's another option. You can go rent snowmobiles and pay a couple hundred bucks or pay your buddy a couple hundred bucks and rent their snowmobile and see if you like it. So after we rented snowmobiles, then we finally in 2010, we got uh, ski Dude Tundras and we were riding back country with ski Dude Tundras, 550s. And that's not ideal, but it taught us uh, to ride and we had a ton of fun. We didn't know any better. It was just a great time And then finally we moved into uh, Rev XP ski do summit chassis which Took everything to the next level. We we're actually able to get around the mountain have a really fun time and obviously now we're on um, Mountain sleds newer mountain sleds, but the thing is is my point with this is You don't have to get something crazy. Just get something to go out and have fun at the end of the day, that's all you're trying to do is go have fun. Don't let the amount of money and what people are telling you stress you out. It's all about fun at the end of the day. So, But if you can go newer, might as well go newer if you have the money. So create a budget, stick to it, and figure out if you want to go into a dealership and buy one brand new off the showroom floor, or if you want to go on KSL, Facebook, Craigslist, one of those sites, and try to bargain for one. Uh, maybe even like a thousand dollars to two thousand dollars depending on where you're at and what you're looking for so after you determine your budget if you're buying used the third tip is for you and that is we need to check the condition so say we want our budget's five grand we want to ski do rev xp okay we found one on marketplace we call the guy he says that it's available, you're gonna go look at it. So here's the tips now that I would recommend. So one, I would look at the tunnel and the track. I would see if the tunnel is straight and doesn't have any um, like folds near the front part of the tunnel where your feet would go all the way back because that can be a really bad problem. The second thing is a track. Tracks are super expensive. Uh, I think they're like 1500 bucks on the newer sleds. So if you have a track that splits or lugs missing, that's you can bargain with the person, but I would personally be aware of that and either not get it or get it for a price that you're willing to put $1,500 more into it to put a new track on it. Um, A-arms are a big deal. Uh, A-arms can get expensive. Look uh, at the front of the skis. If the skis are straight or if they're crooked one way, um, the A-arms, connect to the ski so the skis here and then spindles come up and then connect to the a-arms so like, I don't know if you can see this but these are a-arms this is the shock so I would check all of this stuff in the spindle to make sure that um, to make sure that they're all in line and they're all good 
the reason why is you're gonna have to, it's gonna be hard to ride if you leave them bent and you're gonna wanna replace them and that can just add more money to the total. So with sticking to the budget, you wanna make sure that everything's in working order. So after that, I would check plastics, overall condition, maybe look in the engine compartment, see if there's leaks, um, start it, see if there's smoke coming out of a weird spot, um, some other stuff. You can bring a buddy with you if he knows what he's doing around sleds, like he could look and see if he thinks it's in good condition. But if you open the panels and everything's rusted, obviously it's not in very good condition. So people, even if you don't know much about snow building, you can look and see um, just the overall condition and see how um, hard it's been ridden. Another thing is, <laughs> another thing that you need to look for is, um, is miles. Miles is a big deal, just like when you're buying a car. Uh, the higher the miles normally, the less life it has left when it comes to the engine and the stuff around the engine. Um, so look for something that's the lower miles, the better. But when you're just beginning, I wouldn't get too concerned about all of this stuff unless you're gonna spend a lot of money. I would spend a couple thousand dollars and if you have it and get something that will last you a year or two years and go out and just ride and see what you like. See if you even like riding. And that's the mistake that I see so many people make is they go out and uh, like I have a couple buddies that they're gonna spend, it's their first year snowmobiling and they're gonna spend $20,000 on a factory turbo, number one, they don't even belong on a turbo because they've never even learned the fundamentals of riding. And number two, it's just they don't even know if they like it and if that would be a good sled for them down the road. So I would go with something cheaper, see if you like it, and then when you buy your next sled, then you'll have an idea of when you wanna like pitch the cash out, you'll actually know what you wanna get into, what brands you like. When you're up on the mountain, you can ride other people's sleds and see what you think. But until then, just get something that's decently reliable within your budget. And the biggest thing is the purpose has to be in line with what you want to do and you're going to be fine. Don't let everyone tell you all this stuff about you need this brand with this track, with this engine. It's all minute details. The important thing is, is when you have a day off work, you can get off and go enjoy it and ride. And that doesn't matter what brand you ride or what your track is. Just get something that you enjoy, quit getting analysis paralysis, and just enjoy the sport and see if you like it in the first place. So that is my two cents on buying a new snowmobile. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will answer every comment. And another thing is if you wanna see some uh, sled content, go on Instagram and follow us at Cook Bros. Uh, we post there regularly and you'll see all of our fails and all of our, I guess, wins. Alright guys, that is it and until the next video, have fun.